In the vast expanse of Mars Jezero Crater, NASA's Ingenuity helicopter embarked on its 72nd flight, a mission that would mark its final journey. Initially designed for just five flights, this pioneering rotorcraft defied expectations, soaring across the Martian skies for nearly three years. However, Ingenuity faced unforeseen challenges that led to a hard landing, concluding its historic mission. Join us as we delve into the circumstances of Ingenuity's final flight and celebrate its remarkable achievements. On January 18, 2024, the helicopter lifted off for what was intended to be a brief vertical flight to verify its location after a previous emergency landing. It climbed to 12 meters, hovered for just over 4 seconds, then began descending. But as it neared the surface, something went wrong. NASA's engineers later discovered that Ingenuity's navigation system had failed to read the Martian terrain accurately. The helicopter relies on a downward-facing camera to analyze surface features for positioning, but this time, it flew over a featureless, sandy area. With too few visual landmarks to guide its system, Ingenuity essentially lost its sense of direction. This confusion led to instability during the descent. As it approached the ground, about one meter from landing, the helicopter drifted and touched down at an angle. The impact caused all four of its rotor blades to snap, ending its ability to fly. Despite the crash, Ingenuity didn't go silent. The very next day, engineers re-established communication and received images confirming the blade damage. It was a tough goodbye, but a graceful one. NASA also confirmed this marked the first-ever aircraft accident investigation conducted on another planet. This information will shape the design of future aircraft, not just for Mars, but potentially for other moons and planets across the solar system. Ingenuity was never meant to last this long. When it first touched Martian soil in February 2021, NASA's expectations were modest, five test flights in 30 days. Its purpose was to prove powered flight was even possible in Mars' thin atmosphere, just 1% the density of Earth's. But what followed was nothing short of revolutionary. By the time Ingenuity made its final flight, it had logged 72 flights, covered over 17 kilometers, and remained operational for nearly three Earth years. Its longest single flight stretched 704 meters, and it stayed aloft for more than two full hours in total. It had evolved from a test demo into a fully functional tool, scouting terrain, identifying science targets, and supporting the Perseverance rover's movements on the ground. Beyond its performance numbers, Ingenuity proved that autonomous flying vehicles could survive and thrive on Mars. It adapted through challenges that weren't even considered in its original mission design. When a sensor failed, it flew anyway. When Martian winter hit and temperatures dropped, Ingenuity endured. Even without enough power to keep its heaters running overnight, it survived dust storms, handled unpredictable terrain, and operated from 48 different Martian airfields. This kind of resilience wasn't expected. Ingenuity wasn't built to handle extreme cold or long-term exposure to dust. Yet it kept going, becoming a symbol of what ingenuity, pun intended, means in space exploration, making the most out of limited tools in a harsh, alien environment. In every way, ingenuity outgrew its mission. It went from proof of concept to a critical asset in NASA's Mars operations. And now, its extraordinary legacy is pushing engineers to ask, what else can we fly out there? With its mission complete, NASA has already begun planning for the next generation of Martian flyers. If Ingenuity was the Wright Brothers' moment for Mars, what's coming next is the equivalent of commercial aviation. Enter concepts like the Mars Science Helicopter, a six-rotor, drone-like craft being developed to carry scientific instruments across rugged, unexplored terrain. Unlike Ingenuity, which weighed just 1.8 kilograms, future rotorcraft will be significantly larger and more capable designed to fly up to three kilometers a day and carry several kilograms of scientific payload. This could open up access to areas that wheeled rovers can't reach, cliffs, deep canyons, and even the shadowy interiors of Martian caves. What's even more exciting is the shift in design philosophy. Ingenuity proved that space tech doesn't always need to be big, heavy, or ultra-rugged. Sometimes, smaller and smarter is better. NASA learned that minimal designs optimized for adaptability and resilience can survive longer and do more than expected. This approach is influencing not just future Mars helicopters, but also flying concepts for Titan, Europa, and beyond. 
Ingenuity also offered real-world data that simply couldn't have been simulated on Earth. From dealing with brownouts caused by freezing nights to flying without key sensors, it taught engineers how to plan for the unexpected. And that's gold when preparing for missions in remote, unpredictable environments light years away. So while ingenuity may be grounded, the path it carved is just taking off. With every broken blade and dusty solar panel, it whispered to future explorers, you can go farther. And NASA is listening. Ingenuity may have taken its final flight, but its spirit is very much alive. It turned a 30-day tech demo into a years-long adventure and proved flight on another world isn't just possible, it's powerful. Its crash wasn't a failure, it was a milestone, loaded with data and lessons for what comes next. Ingenuity didn't just survive Mars, it changed how we explore it. And in doing so, it made sure the skies of the red planet are open for every explorer that follows. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.